Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to go over one worked example to show you how to do problems involving Millikan's oil drop experiment. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. In our one and only example, it says that in a Millikan type experiment, a very small charged oil drop is stationary between the two plates. The mass of the oil drop is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 15 kilograms. Part A says to draw a sketch to show the forces acting on the oil drop. Well, if this is my oil drop here, then we have two balanced vertical forces which cause the oil drop to be stationary, where the downwards force is due to the gravitational field, so that's F equals mg or the weight, and the upward force is due to the electric field, which we can call F equals QE. Part B says to state the sign of the charge on the oil drop. Well, in this case, for the oil drop to be stationary here, we need the charge on the oil drop to be negatively charged so that it's repelled away from this lower plate and it's attracted towards the upper plate. And we need the sign of the charge on the oil drop to be negative so that the gravitational field downwards is in the opposite direction to the electrostatic force upwards. Part C says to calculate the size of the charge on the oil drop. So we want to find what the magnitude of the charge Q is, and to do that we can use the idea of the forces being balanced. So when the forces are balanced, we can say that QE is equal to mg, we can equate the two forces. And then because we don't have a value for the electric field strength E here, we can replace this with our relationship E equals V over D, so we get QV over D is equal to mg. And that's since V equals ED, and we can rearrange that to get E. Remember we want to find the charge Q though, so we can rearrange for that by bringing the D up to this side and dividing both sides by V. So we get Q equals mgd over V, and substituting in the numbers gives us 4.9 times 10 to the minus 15 times 9.8 times 0.02 divided by 2000, where 2000 was the potential difference between the plates, and 9.8 is the gravitational field strength on Earth, and the D value is given in the diagram. Then putting that into a calculator should give you an answer of 4.8 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And notice that this is a multiple of the electron charge, i.e. charge is quantized, and this is one of the conclusions that Millikan's oil drop experiment determined. Lastly, part D says how many excess electrons are on the oil drop. Well, to find this, we simply need to take the total charge and divide it by the charge on one electron. So we can say the number of excess electrons is equal to the total charge divided by the charge on one electron, which equals 4.8 times 10 to the minus 19, our answer from before, divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, which equals 3. So there are three excess electrons on the oil drop. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.